this point I add my luster and bring it down at least halfway down the crown not two-thirds of the way I want to leave the crown a little high now to allow for shrinkage there is quite a bit of shrinkage in uh, Moritaki compared to production Crown of Bridge porcelain Now I'm going to blot the whole crown, remove the moisture from the buildup. And add a little bit of occlusion with the body. Just want to make sure that it's there. I'm not real concerned about the crown being being uh, perfect. I can always grind the crown down if it's high, and and that's not a problem. I just don't really want to have to put a second bake of porcelain on. Okay, after I've removed most of the moisture, I'm going to blend the luster and the body. One more time, remove moisture. I'm getting ready to take this off of the model now. Okay, in this case we'll just I can just lift this off without removing the die. Now, any voids that I have, I will add the porcelain to that to them now. Sometimes around the margin, I'd have to add some. and the contact area
Also, I will add a luster to contact for the sizal area. Okay, I'm going to continue to to blot the crown now. I've got my build up like I I want here. I'm going to add a little bit to a cuss tip. Um, I'm going to blot this now, and uh, then I'm going to condense this. So I'm going to stop the film at this point and blot this remove all the water from this and then we'll go on to the, the condensing of the porcelain now I've removed the moisture it took about a minute just continuing to blot all the way around now I'm using my condensing brush and I just use it to blend all the porcelain together here, the luster to the body once more. Um, I want to condense this porcelain and bring all the particles together. You get more of an aesthetic look if you do this. Also, uh, helps you from having cracks in your build up or your uh, when you fire this so I just pull the porcelain down towards the margin can get at it a little bit better now without holding it with hemostats. It's dried out enough to hold in my fingers now. I just continue to condense it at the margin area, pulling any porcelain down to the margin. The margins are exposed. I want to have a little bit of a ledge of a margin. Uh, this porcelain will shrink and uh, you don't have <clears throat> some porcelain down at these margins that it will shrink back so you have a, a bulk or a little bit of a ledge when you look down it's not necessarily that bad <clears throat> okay um, I can uh, define my Clusal here a little bit. Separate the cusps. Okay, it looks good at this point, and last thing I'm going to do is just blow out any porcelain that I've gotten in the inside here. Um, I'm also using a small wet brush to remove it with. You don't want that fired on the inside of your, 
your coping or core. Okay, that's all we do now. I'm going to put this on a soft tray. And I'm going to place it in my porcelain oven and run this up to the cycle that's uh, recommended for